Where I'd like to start is with this idea of a taxonomy of online gaming. Now, the word taxonomy really means a hierarchy. It means a, a, an outline of concepts. And, and um, I'm sure that people who know gaming will argue with this taxonomy. And in fact, that's a lesson in taxonomy right there, that the ways we describe things are a matter of debate. There's no one single way to categorize things. But that's what a taxonomy is. It's a categorization. It's a hierarchy that puts all the, all the uh, terms that you're interested in into some sort of outline. Okay, so we have the first-person shooter games, which are in a separate category altogether. We have the strategy games, and among the strategy games, the two major divisions that we're going to talk about is the multiplayer online game, and that's about enough for that. We won't really talk about that again. And the massively multiplayer online games. Those are the huge ones, and of course, World of Warcraft is in there. So among those, among the massively multiplayer online games, we have the RPGs, the role-playing games. So... There we have it, MMO, Massively Multiplayer Online RPG Role-Playing Games. And just in that name, you can get a feeling for what they do. They're massive, they're huge, lots and lots and lots of players, so they're just like the other applications we've studied. They're enormous, they're going to require lots of servers, they're going to be lots of processing power, and really high, sophisticated technology. Um, and RPG, which means that you take on a persona, you take on a kind of person, and you play that person throughout the game. And we know that because it's one of these MMOs, there's a world involved, you tra you're traversing terrain, etc., etc. Okay, so just in this, oh, and, and the, the example, obviously, that we're going to study is World of Warcraft. Diablo is another example of a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Okay, so just in this taxonomy, you get a feeling for the overall world that we're in, the overall domain we're in, and what particularly we're going to study. Something that's got a persistent world, you move through that world, lots and lots of players interacting all the time, so it's got a very big social component, which we'll talk a little bit about, and the basic motif, the basic idea is you move through that world, playing a role, and of course, you know, the rest, you do battle, right? You win against, you win victories, and, you know, that gives you points, and that scales you up in the levels, and that makes you... Uh, um, now, I won't spend a lot of time giving you the sort of the rule playing and how do you play World, World of Warcraft. That's really not necessary for what we want to know. We're not here to learn how to play the game. However, if you need to kind of get a feeling for the game, you feel like you're getting lost a little bit, you need a little bit more of the vocabulary, um, I suggest you go to this, this site. It's a very good introduction to the, to, to the World of Warcraft. Um, starts from zero, so if you don't know anything about it, gives you almost all the vocabulary that we'll use in, in this segment. And uh, so if you feel like you're getting lost, this is a really good place to go. Okay, so you can read this little, this little introduction. It basically says more or less what I've said, that it's a role-playing game. You move through worlds, you defeat bad guys, and, um, uh, and you get more and more skill levels as you go along.